What's up, everyone? It's Joseph and Ray back again for another fun-filled episode of Ask EVGA. Always fun. Yes, it is a lot of fun. Um, today, uh, we do have a new piece right here on our set. Um, Steve from Gamers Nexus went ahead and sent us this awesome mod mat. Yes. Um, these things are great. And we actually have it signed as well. So thank you, Steve. This will stay a permanent fixture of our set, so expect to see this mod mat um, as our kind of disassembly pad and uh, and uh, a way of showing you new great EVJ products. So yes, thank you, Steve, for the mat. We do appreciate it. Yes, we do. Uh, and so today um, we've got a few questions. Mm -hmm. um, again, as always, you can leave comments down below in the video. That's where we find the most of our questions, but you can also leave it on social media as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll jump in. Uh, the first question is going to be from Jimmy Chappell. Okay. And he says, can we expect the 2080 Ti FTW3 to be available as a step-up option? Okay. That is a question. Certainly our customer service team is getting a lot of questions in regards to new RTX cards and a lot of questions in regards to step-up. Um, we will be offering RTX on step-up, but uh, we haven't said at this time what models we'll be offering. So unfortunately, um, not much I can really say on that at this point. I should also point out that um, on episodes 7 and 8, um, a lot of the questions were kind of surrounding or uh, around RTX in general, and that's why I wanted to have at least one of them in there. A lot of that stuff we really can't talk too much about at this point, um, even when this uh, video gets uploaded, but um, just know that through the course of time, as these products get released and as people get them into their hands, all these questions will be answered. So all that stuff will get... Uh, all that knowledge will get out there and uh, you'll get to enjoy those new products so yes there will be rtx cards on the step up but we don't know what models at this time yeah and it's probably important to note that generally on the step up we only have reference right. cards um, usually just reference a lot cards. of times you're not going to see an ftw on there i think i've maybe seen it once yeah um but yeah that's mm -hmm. typically something you don't see but we don't know so yeah uh, right now, the highest card you can get that's on the step up that you can step up to is the 1080 Ti SC Black Edition. That's uh, for the US. Um, okay, moving on to the next question. This is from, again, we've had him before, uh, forever. Oh, yeah. Uh, is the Power Link compatible with the 1080 Ti Kingpin? Uh, that's a pretty easy one, actually. The 1080 Ti Kingpin has the connectors already uh, situated kind of where the Power Link would put those. Right. Uh, that actually makes it impossible to really install the power link onto it. It would put it somewhere under the card, but actually the PCB is larger too, so it actually doesn't fit. Yeah, it wouldn't fit. Tried it before. Um, so, no, that's kind of the quick and easy. Yeah, unfortunately, no, but uh, for that card, you really don't need it. Mm -hmm. All right, and the next question is from Aerochrome uh, for you. Mm -hmm. um, is there any benefit to buying the 1080 Ti with the hybrid cooler already installed mm -hmm. versus buying another EVGA 1080 Ti and slapping the hybrid cooler, um, basically the hybrid kit, right. onto that, uh, potentially if you can get it at a lower price? Sure. If you can get it at a lower price, then certainly there's an argument to make about getting a card and then getting the hybrid kit separately. Um, the kits and the cards that come pre-assembled with it are the same. So you're not going to see any performance difference um, on a pre-assembled card versus one you put on unless something went wrong when you installed it, but mm -hmm. it should be pretty straightforward. Um, the biggest difference is actually warranty. Um, all of our current hybrid cards, i.e. those cards that come with the hybrid kit already installed, there's a three-year warranty on the entire card and that includes the pump and the AIO assembly that's mounted to it. Um, when you buy a hybrid kit, uh, the hybrid kit has a one-year warranty. Um, so if you have an issue with your hybrid kit specifically, uh, we'll cover that for a year. You pull that off, you send in the AIO, and then that's what we replace. Um, it's also worth noting if you were to have an issue um, with your graphics card that's not related to the hybrid kit, um, because your card came with its own serial number and its own part number before you installed that hybrid kit, you need to restore it back to the factory form with the air cooler on it before doing an RMA. Um, so certainly when it comes to warranty, uh, it, there are some advantages to buying a card that is factory built as a hybrid card because that's how we're going to end up replacing it if there is any warranty issue, whereas a little bit more of a, of a trade-off when you're using the kit. But again, if you can get a kit and a card at a really low price, that actually may make more sense. So uh, it's up to you, um, but that's kind of the differences between those two. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, this one's a very quick and easy question. Uh, any plans? Oh, sorry. This is from Next Level One Two Three. Uh, he asks, any plans for a hybrid twenty eighty Ti? Uh, well, actually, we've already showed that off, so yeah. the answer is yes. Yes. Um, don't have much more to yeah. add to that in particular, but um, I no would... real specs or information at this time. But yes. Right. Yeah. No specs. Um, I would say though that the hybrids are classically my favorite cards. Mm -hmm. um, I like the consistency and performance and the lower temperatures. Right expands the life of the card right. um, so yes we will have one and I'm looking forward to possibly owning one yeah oh. Yahoo all right and the next question is from Matt Christie mm -hmm. uh, do you think you guys could start shipping the products on your website through the USPS and Canada post as a Canadian I just don't need to pay the outra outrageous import costs that UPS and FedEx charge when there is no need for it. Right, um, that's a valid question. Certainly for Canadian customers, um, if you're purchasing on our website, um, you may find that there are uh, duties that are charged and uh, surcharges from uh, UPS specifically. We only use UPS for orders in the US, um, or in, sorry, North America. Um, so for that at this time, it's something we can certainly take into advisement, but we have a really strong partnership with UPS as far as shipping. They they do all of our shipping for, for RMAs when they come in and out. And so it's the same on the order side. Um, certainly, we're expanding a lot on our online ordering. Um, that's something that's been happening kind of throughout 2018. We used to be very small uh, for online ordering and we're expanding. So certainly, we always look at things like that. Um, so it is very important feedback. And I appreciate you giving that um, because I'm sure you and other Canadian customers want some more flexibility on... Uh, shipping when buying products from EVGA, so we do appreciate that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right, uh, this is the final question for today. This is from Jendar Plays. He asks, hey guys, uh, what, uh, I'm just wondering how the warranty works on a card in a PC from a pre-built manufacturer bought at a retailer. In my case, a CyberPower PC from Best Buy. Uh, would we still get the full warranty that our card would offer if it was bought alone? And would we just use the receipt as the invoice? Thanks. Uh, yeah, that's a good question, actually. Mm -hmm. um, system builders, much of the time, are going to have a one-year manufacturer warranty through us. Um, we allow them the freedom to provide their own warranty, say, if they want to provide a three-year term on yeah, all... For the whole system. For the whole system. Right. Um, they can, they're free to do that, but uh, generally, from a system builder, it is going to be a one-year directly from us. So if you do buy a card yourself, you do get the three-year manufacturer warranty. Um, EVGA warranty is known to be really, right. you know, good warranty. So um, it's really up to you. Right. Uh, and as far as... Um, Gosh, this thing turned off. Oh, uh, yeah, as far as the receipt right. um, on or the invoice, um, you would just use the receipt that they provide to you mm -hmm. uh, if you're going to be sending it in to us. Uh, keep in mind that does get a little bit trickier when it comes to, like, say, a step up sure. or something more specific where we need to know the price that was paid for the item. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times system builders can provide a line item price for right. that. Um, so step up gets a little bit tricky, yep. but as far as the warranty, um, it's usually going to be one year. Right. Yep, that's all good stuff. Um, usually it is one year. The suffix for a graphics card or any product that's one year should end in BR, mm -hmm. whereas our three-year warranty products are KR. I have seen yeah. places like CyberPower build systems with KRs in them. I don't really know the logistics behind that, but if that is the case, CyberPower PC is one of our authorized retailers. And on our website, if you go to service and where to buy, or maybe products where to buy? I think it's products where to buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you will see all of our authorized retailers, and that does include system builders. So um, CyberPower is one of them. Um, they do get full warranty. It just depends on whether or not it's a one-year warranty or a three-year warranty on that product. And like Joseph said, it's usually one-year warranty on those. Um, but yeah, th that's perfectly fine. And as he said, the receipt that they give you, that is basically your receipt. So that's what we use. And on our system side, we can see where your serial number was shipped. And it will show us if it went to CyberPower PC. So if we see a CyberPower receipt and that lines up with the shipping record, then we know that, of course, there's no issues there. Now, if you do have, if you do know that it came from, say, CyberPower and it is a KR, mm -hmm. do you honor the, do we honor the three-year in yep. that case? Yeah, we do. We do? We do full three-year on those. It's it's rare, but it does happen. Okay. Yeah, so keep, keep that in mind. Check out the warranty page and you can see the different suffixes and what kind of warranty they carry. So it might be different. Yeah. 
depending on where you get it. Yeah, certainly um, where it's really common is on power supplies. So mm -hmm. um, since we don't have a shorter term for most of our power supplies, cyber power may use like a V1, V being a five year. Mm -hmm. um, that's really common. Um, so of course that gets the full five year because it is an authorized retailer. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you guys. This has been another good episode of Ask EVGA. As ever, leave your questions in uh, the comment section below and we will get to that in a future episode. You have a good one. Bye. Goodbye.